Hey guys, this is Pick Master, and I might as well make another Thought Sign at the moment. Um, I was going to do something else for Thought Sign, kind of related to this, however, I might as well save it for when Black and White 2 is out, and everything about that game is known. But first, Pokemon Conquest. See, uh, yeah, NTN wanted me to do that for some time now, and I guess now is the time for it, because I have experience playing it, and I have enjoyed it. Yeah. I actually do like Pokemon Conquest. Okay, yeah, so here's what it is in a nutshell. It's a good introduction to turn-based strategy games for people who like Pokemon, and vice versa. It's a, it's a good introduction to Pokemon for those who are good with uh, turn-based strategy games. So, yeah, as, yeah, as I just mentioned, Pokemon Conquest is a turn-based strategy game featuring Pokemon. And it's actually pretty good. It's si simple, but yet a bit complicated at the same time. The only thing complicated about it, like, for those who know Pokemon, it's, the only thing that's complicated is the fact that you do recruit a lot, uh, you could recruit a, a ton of people, however, uh, like, most game, most, like, most games that involve a ton of people, you're gonna eventually realize that you can't, you know, power, you know, level up or not, or power up, whatever, every character you recruit, recruit, because, um, it's gonna it take forever and a half to, uh, just, you know, make everyone as strong as they can be. Um, eventually settling into just a few characters, both both um, story characters and generic characters. So that's pretty much what what I have done, which is essentially I have um I have a, uh, quite a lot of uh, really good characters on um, on my roster at the moment. However, uh, yes, however, some like a few of them, like um, there's a guy with a whooper on my team. Uh, the guy with a whooper. That's essentially one of the weakest characters on my team, even weaker than the guy with the magic harp. Although, technically, the, the, the magic harp can't do anything because it's, it's only move is splash. About that, okay. I'm gonna have to describe it in a nutshell. Uh, although I don't have to describe it because you can just look at Serebii or Bulbapedia for details on the game. So, uh, what? It, yeah, it's, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to explain what, what Pong Conquest, uh, what what the stuff is. So you're this look so you're this guy or girl, you can choose, uh, who starts out with an Eevee. Then this random girl with a jelly but pops out of nowhere and starts uh, starts becoming your your main partner. Well, technically you could just like fight without her and everything, but uh, it's just optional. But I I might to include her anyway, because uh, her jelly has high HP, even though her attacks suck. Um, each Pokemon has one move of a, uh, one move. In the Eevee's case is quick attack, in the Jigglypuff's case is double slap. And, uh, yeah, various others. And each move has a, spe has a specific range, like, for example, Quick Attack uh, only targets the one, one square in front of you, and a move like Discharge uh, attacks um, one square around your char around character, or Thundershock, which is, um, like, two squares in front of you, uh, hits two squares in front of you, or Rock Tomb, which is one square that is two spaces in front of you. Yeah, that, so essentially, each Pokemon has a specific range, so you can't have, so you can't expect, uh, let's say, Ralts, which learns Confusion, to learn something other than Confusion. And you can't expect Ralts to hit, to attack head-on, because conf Confusion hits one square, three spaces ahead in front of you. So, essentially, Ralts is meant to be a very, very ranged character, whereas a Pokemon like, like Eevee again, it's only meant for close range. Also, each Pokemon has a certain ability, which uh, may or may not help them in the long run. Like, for example, there's one ability called Gulp, which is won by Magikarp and Wooper, among others, that essentially heals you when you're on water. And again, with the example of Eevee, because you just start out with Eevee, your Eevee's going to end up with the ability Celebrate, which means that if you beat an opponent, if you beat a Pokemon with Eevee, you can move again and attack again. So essentially, you're starting, you're starting Pokemon kicks butt when it, like if it kicks butt it kicks butt so yeah that's 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 actually pretty well, what I, what I like about this uh this game and also there's um that's lots of pretty good challenges it's a pretty good um well yeah challenge but i actually found like if i find i realized that it's for if you if you know if you know pokemon and you know strat uh, turn based strategies this game is not going to be that difficult at all uh I actually, I actually like part way through the game already. However, I know I know I have not completed the game yet. I've only just part way through it. However, I've only had one character faint, 
during the, the whole the whole game, and that's uh, that's um, a guy with a rocket. But that's just it. But yeah, it's 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 not that difficult. If you know what you're doing. Uh, well, I don't know that much else to say because I've already said everything I wanted to say about Conquest, and if you want to know more about it, you just go to Therapy, Wikipedia. Also, Maryland, uh, he upl he uploads um. His LP of Pokemon Conquest. So, if you want, if you want to take a look at the game and actually how see how the game is played, go check there. So that is all for what I'm going to say about Pokemon Conquest, and I freaking love this game. See you guys in the next thoughts on.